What's going on, Pokey Tubers? Today we have a pretty neat video. We are going to be doing a collection appraisal. Um, one of the guys that helps me sell my sneakers has sent me his full collection, about four ETBs worth of cards here, uh, to help him figure out what to do with the cards, whether sell, grade and sell, or keep. So we're going to go through this. This might actually be a few part video depending on how long it takes. There's quite a few cards in here. Um, so we're going to keep a little shell Excel sheet here and kind of take note of the conditions. This is something we kind of do all the time helping people but we've never done like a full collection video so it's kind of exciting. I hope you guys enjoy. So we'll just start off with a little bit of um, promotional material. He's got the rule book from the original trading card game. It's pretty cool if you've never actually seen that. That's the deck that comes with the Machamp first edition from base set. So that explains the rules. He's got two of the Pokemon Center exclusive ornaments that came when you ordered the special delivery Pikachu when you were ordering from the website during the last holiday. So let's jump into our first ETB here. Uh, did kind of go through some of the cards had things grouped together but he does have two banger cards to start off the haul we've got two base set Charizards that appear to be light play to near mint condition so I'm intent here in this video is to show everything off and then we'll work on making our list so let's pull out some more cards from the ETB there's also some more modern cards in here. I know he has some of the special delivery Pikachus because they're still in the little container. He also has some Yu-Gi-Oh, some Evolutions. So first stack here, got uh, Neo Energy Rare, Fossil cards. Seems to be in near mint. Light plate in near mint here. Some other vintage. It's nice to see. This gives feels of picking up lots back in the day. Got some energies. Jungle Pikachu. You can see that's near mint to light play. Pokeball. Got a little crabby action. So there's a mix of Watsy, vintage, near mint to light play here. Try to separate by condition. I see a little damage one coming up here. There's a nice Butterfree. There's a Shadowless Machop. These actually, that's fake there. As well as this Cubone. Fake. So a couple of little fake cards. Look at that. Fake base set Shadowless. Let's move to our next pile. Take a look at the conditions from the back. That one's a little more played. That's a primate. So overall, pretty good. This this one's looking rough. Another fake. Shadowless Rattata. And extremely played Ghastly. Not worth anything. <clears throat> Let's see. More base set. We go. We've got a couple rares. Mr. Mime. Jolteon. Venomoth. Got an electrode, nice. Ditto. Mr. Mom again. I, like, I love that Clefairy from Neo. So we got even some Neo sets. Wiggly Tough. Ooh, Scizor. Snorlax. So nice little stack of rares there for our first couple hundred cards. Let's get out our next stack. like another fake bull picks seems like fake cards are extremely damaged <laughs> all right flip these around I'm getting into the hollows it looks like here shortly weeping bell bell sprout coughing drowsy it's pretty played that's a doduo shadowless it's authentic, but it has a huge crease. That's 
pretty played as well. So this pile's a little more played. It's another faker. Charmeleon base. That, that, that's actually real right there. It's a regular base set. Drowsy in a sleeve. Kabuto first edition. Okay. These are sleeved up. Charmeleon, Arcanine, Bulbasaur. <coughs> Ivysaur. No hollows yet. One first edition card. Psyduck, Cloyster, Omni Knight, Omni Star. Magic card. All right, what else we got? I got a Mewtwo promo. It's pretty cool. Set that aside. Rare Pidgeotto. Hitmonlee, another first edition. Wiggly Tough. Lieutenant Surge Electro Buzz. Tournament Meowth. Zapdos. Zapdos. Nice. Promo. Go with that. Promo. There's another rare. And there's a Raichu rare. Okay, build a pretty good pile here of rares. Keep those together. All right, we're only about halfway through the ETB. Nice gym set. There's more first edition. Add the first edition pile. Fossil and jungle first. Base set haunter. This weed bill always looked really weird to me. Pretty trippy. Okay, got a damage Kabutos Kabutops first edition. Another fake shadowless card. Yeah, so weird. Sphero damaged. <clears throat> Dark Hypno rare. There's Ditto. It's quite a good handful of rares. Dark Alakazam. There's Dark Dragonair. Ooh, Dragonites. Let's go. Damage Lapras, got another Pidgeot, okay, more energies, leave those in the ETB, a couple more stacks in this box, just another fake, damaged, damaged, A lot of trainers in this pile. We got Haunter, that is a rare. Fossil rare. It's a magic carp Japanese. Real Shadowless. Radicate, okay. Another Pidgeot. Bell Sprout. There's a fake Shadowless. Two more fakes. Kabutops. Last pile on this ETB, and we're going to move on to one that has a lot of top loaders, so hopefully a lot of hollows. Why are these sh all shadowless fake? That's funny. There's a really heavy plate if that's real. Teeny. And a couple Japanese there. So that is that ETB. So we had about 20 rares, three promos, the two Charizard hollows, some first edition stuff. So not a whole lot of value in the light played commons and commons rares. Probably just a couple dollars each, depending on the condition. And then these Charizard hollows. Offhand, probably a 
two to three hundred. I gotta we gotta pull them out. We gotta look over the foiling. Let's see there, but let's go to this one. We got Acerola Hollow, Hidden Fates Birds. We got Mega Venusaur from Evolutions, really nice. Here are the two delivery Pikachus, which I already recommended we get those graded. Got some more Evo promos from the Kanto boxes. Got the Galarian Crisola, Dreadnought V, Venusaur V, Raichu GX, Daraludin V, Starmie GX, Gyarados, Pidgeot EX, Malamar, Kartana, Gyarados, or Charizard, Charizard V, V, so this is a lot of modern, Lucario, Rockruff, Katana, another Mega Charizard, Dragonite, Dragonite, <clears throat> Rainbow Bird Trio, Mewtwo GX, Magneton, Got Delmise. I think these are mine. They fell in the box. That's my Kyle Murray. Alright, got the Evolving Skies promos. Which I think those might be minus two. I was cleaning up and I threw a lot of stuff in here. Alright. Got some more bulk played vintage. Fake Eevee. Fake Charmander. Fake Rapidash. Got a Charmeleon Reverse. A couple Charmanders. Little Hollows. My Champion's Path. Incineroar V. Let's move that to the back. Alright. More Hollows. Reverses. All right, here we go. Some evolutions, rares, flying Pikachu's. So definitely knows Pikachu, Charmander, Charizard. That's the stuff you sleeve up. So a lot of hollows in here. All right, another stack of modern, modern reverses and hollows. All right, here we go. I think this is what you guys want to see. Some vintage hollows. Got a Mewtwo and a really bad sleeve. That's pretty nice. Minty front, back. To me, that's that's an A quality. Let me grab some sleeves quick. We'll put them in some better sleevage. That one just had a little bit of roughing up there. That's like a near mint A quality. Erica's Venusaur looks really nice from the front. sleeve this because it's in a tight sleeve. Couple couple foil scratches. Definitely near mint quality. That probably would get a seven on the grade scale. Let's see Brock. Some minor foil scratching on the left. Might be a little something there. Probably be a six, maybe a seven. Another Brock. You guys know I love Jim series. So foil scratching, prominent on the front. Probably another six quality. Lieutenant Surge is Electra Buzz. See, that's in a normal sleeve. My favorite card. Some minor foil scratching. Back has some white marks. Six or a seven. Got a hit on Chan. Base set two. Some underlying foil scratches. Played back. Probably a five or a six. <clears throat> Rockets hit on Chan. Not an expensive card, but I think a really nice looking card. So this one's a little better than 
The other one's hollow wise, not too much scratching going on. Looks like there's like a yellow mark there. I'm not sure if that's a, a stain or I don't think that's a known misprint. The back has some whitening. It's probably gonna get a five with that mark. Got Venomoth. Jungle. It's got some foil marks played back. Probably that one with the top there too. That's probably between a four and a five. Giovanni's my champ. Another favorite here. Some foil scratching. Played back there. Say it's that's six worthy. Got base him a champ. Let's take a look at that. We'll just take a look at all the hollows. That's the money, the money cards. Get them in the loose sleeves. It's actually pretty good hollow. A little scratching up here on the left side surface. On the back, pretty hefty whitening all the way around. Some surface. Front's good though, but I would say probably a five. Mole trace, some left foot side foil scratching. Other than that, pretty solid. A little foiling on the edging. So we got some wear there, some chunk out of the card in the back. That's not worth really sending. Okay, go to Zapdos. That's really clean for all. A couple of light ones here by the left foot. Maybe one over here. Our back played here. I'd say probably a six, maybe seven. Feeling they're feeling generous on us. Articuno. Got a little bit of curve here. You can see the curvature. A little more hefty full scratching compared to our Zapdos counterpart. Let's take a look at the back. I'd say this is going to receive a six. You got some surface here, surface here, a lot of whitening on the edges. G1 is Persian. You guys know that's a tough grade. Any of the colorless cards. A lot of little full scratching. Not really big ones. Very minor looking. I'd say it's definitely six worthy. <clears throat> Gyarados base set. Got some minor ones down here in the river. A couple over here. Some surface going from going in out of a sleeve or a top loader. Probably puts it down to a six. Onto Raichu Fossil. Pretty nice front hollow. Definitely puts it closer to a seven, eight. Back's not bad. Say so this definitely would probably pull in a seven. Depends if they want to be generous with the eight. The cut's not terrible either. All right, dark wheezing. So beautiful pile of vintage here. Another tight sleeve. Do not like those. All right, dark wheezing. Nobody wanted to play with their wheezing, so this should be good, right? Minor scratch there. Maybe one over here. Pretty clean, clean front. Back's pretty clean comparatively to some of the others. I think this could sneak by as an eight. All right, here we go. Magneton, everybody's favorite. We got base set two and fossil. 
Magnetons are usually pretty clean. Nobody likes Magneton. A little more foil scratching than the previous card. Got a lot of surface here. I'd say this is probably a four over five based on all the surface marks. Any little chunks out of the card. All right. Magneton. It's a really clean hollow on the front. Really not good at judging that like foiling on the side, what it does to the grade. And the back. Man, that front is so good. The push the back is a little stronger. This is probably gonna be a six. Not saying these are all getting graded, just giving out rough judgments here for valuing the collection. So we got a Kabutops. That's pretty clean as well. Like there's one there. Let me turn it this way. You got a couple more here. It's a pretty strong front though. In the back. Probably another six. <clears throat> Just one or too many white chunks coming in for these to be big, big, big grades. Dark Hypno. Love this card. It's pretty clean as well. One over the eye, the green eye. I don't have like my best light out for this, but a couple up here on the top right corner. Let's give it a new sleeve. All right. All right, dark via plume, last hollow in this pile. A couple scratches down low on the right side. You turn it more flat. You got a lot here on the south side, north side. Pretty general, general scratching across the board. Some more whitening down here. Probably a six. So not a bad run of wizard's hollows for a little vintage action. To go along with our Charizards, let's go ahead and take a look at those Charizards now. Since we're in the vintage pile, then we've got one more Pokemon box worth of stuff. And then I don't know if I'll even do the Yu-Gi-Oh! on video here. Because I'm not really sharp on Yu-Gi-Oh! It looks like this Pokemon stuff is mostly... Oh, we're about to find out. We got some... Looks like a lot of supplies, but there are some some hollows in there. So let's take out the first base set are Let's get it a new sleeve, a loose sleeve. Keep it loosey here. All right. So we got some foil scratching going up the left. There's a deeper one here above the nose. Another one here above the neck. These are some of the cleaner hollows comparatively. Taking a look at the back. We've got whitening on all most of the edges. Don't see really anything too bad on surface. I, I don't see reason this wouldn't receive a seven. So let's take a look at the second one. All right, this one has a little bit predominantly more scratching here on the left side. You can see that. Got some on the right side, the top, pretty consistent across the card. Not a bad front. You got a little bit of a dirt speck on the top right and on the back. Probably gonna be a six, but could could get a seven, but I'm gonna go with six on this one. So six and a seven on the Zards, not terrible. Not terrible at all. I don't see any nines coming out of any of these hollows on the vintage side. I think our best chance at good grades are the Tech Pichu, but I'm not gonna open these up at this point for him. We'll just, they're pack fresh. All right, let's take a look in this box label evolution. So there's some sleeves, there's some bulk. I'm assuming that's all bulk Evo. There's some top loaders. Um, then we got some cards sleeved up here. Let's see, we got two more bags. Looks like more Evo bulk. Take a look. Got some Evo Reverse Hollows, Rares. Assuming these are going to be pack fresh. 
There's another Charizard. Gyarados. Poliwath. Nothing really worth taking a too close a look at except this Charizard. Alright. So, pretty clean. It's got one big mark like down the whole card actually actually giving you I think giving you a little subsurface damage here you can kind of see that running here see that line runs up stops right in there and it looks like that it's going to give you some surface damage as well so that's tough that's a tough call right here I would probably say that knock it down to a six immediately it just depends if that's like yeah, it's, that's definitely indented, so maybe a five or four. Uh, if it wouldn't have that, it'd be pretty minty, I'd say. It's, it's definitely eight worthy, maybe even a nine, but that, that big running scratch is no bueno. All right, so that is the total in the collection. So I would just evaluate like all the bulk stuff, even the vintage, uh, non-rares, Evo, all the, the played, light play, some near mint. It's not something I would, you know, maybe be like 50 bucks on total, 40 bucks, not really. Minty, minty, minty that people would pick up grading copies, plus listing it all is not really worth your time uh, individually. And there weren't any like super big rares on the rare side. I mean, you're talking one to a couple dollars. On the Charizards, those are set six and seven quality, raw. Um, probably puts you in like the $200 range. You got uh, three promos. Those might get you four or five bucks a piece. Then all these in their played condition. Near mint to light play, most of them, a few dollars each. So this is probably, I don't know, with the, tech, with the, with the Pikachus, probably 600 bucks worth of stuff, roughly. It, and it's, as long as you're not evaluating in the, the graded final price, the Yu-Gi-Oh could be completely different, but we're going to do that off camera, figure that out. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of the fake cards for him. So I appreciate him helping me out with the shoes. I'm doing Pokemon help here, and maybe we'll work out a deal on this. The only other thing I didn't really evaluate in was this other modern stuff. That's probably... Gets you a handful of dollars. It's probably another 100, 150 bucks there. So maybe 100 based on what's there. A lot of promos. Okay. If you guys enjoyed this video, little appraisal video, breakdown, classic collection, make sure you thumbs up. If you're new here, subscribe. And as always, thank you guys for watching.